together. We believe that God is the Father Almighty and that He is the maker of heaven and earth. As the scriptures have said, we believe in Jesus, that He is the Christ and the only begotten Son of the Father. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the cross of Pilate, was crucified and dead and buried. On the third day, He rose from the dead. And declared victory of the grave, death, and hell. He has gone back to the Father to prepare a place for us in his kingdom. He will come back as he promised to judge the world and to deliver the righteous. We believe in the Holy Ghost, the Christian Church, the forgiveness of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the eternal life for all true believers. Amen.
Thank you this morning to uh, welcome any guests we have for us today. If we have any guests, I haven't seen them, but again, you are welcome, welcome, welcome. On um, December the 31st at 10, 10 p.m., 10 p.m., we will have a sunrise service here at the church. And, um, Man, watch night. Sorry, watch night. Ain't not Easter. Watch night. Yeah, I'm going to Easter. Watch night service in the church at 10 o'clock p.m. on December 31st. All right, that's the last Sunday in December. All right. And of course, we know Jesus is the reason for the season. So before I go, let me leave you with a thought. Give the greatest gift. Tell them about Jesus. All right. Remember our sick and shame. Yeah. May I make a presentation, Pastor? Yes. Sure, he appreciates that because 
I'm about like Mr. Whitney. Now, Mr. Whitney tells me so that it has really stuck with him. Anything he ever told me, it really stuck. He said, when you got a zero and you put a one right there, it adds up. Right. But if you got a zero and you put that one on up, you ain't got nothing. Uh -huh. So instead of having a zero in there, let's put one dollar in there, if you don't mind, please. And, and every artist ever that have not given anything, if you know somebody that have not given anything, please inform them for the full seven. Talking about that fast.
working on that the last few days. Praise God. So I would say to all of you, please, ma'am and sir, just do the precautions because no one wants to be sick. Am I right about it? Amen. You don't want to be sick. Praise God. So we ask you all to do the same. And may God bless you in this season of cheer and celebration because Jesus is worthy of the praise. And we thank God for all of you. And at this time, we're going to ask our stewards to come and let's receive our tithes and our offering at this time. God bless you. Lifted towards heaven. Heavenly Father, we come today and thank you for this hour, for this time, and the service. God, we come joyfully giving back unto you what you've given unto us. We certainly ask your blessings over it, that it would be given an increase and be used for your glory and for the upbuilding of your kingdom. We thank you and we bless your name. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
and it reads, who? What? His own self did what? Bear our sins of, and body upon what? On the tree. Amen. That what happens? Dead to sin should what? Righteousness by whose what? Stripes. Ye were he. For a few minutes, I'd like to preach from this subject. The Christmas tree, an emblem of victory. The Christmas tree, an emblem of victory. As the months of birds started in September, I cannot help but feel the breeze of the Christmas atmosphere, especially when you visit department stores, see decoration and Christmas music and commercials rolling in, that favorite to say the most anticipated time of the year. As all of us have become constrained by routines, even for me with a lot going on from week to week, we find that even this year, the First Lady and I, amen, had to go out and buy a new Christmas tree. Uh, we had to purchase a new one because the tree this year had become old and stuff started falling off. And we knew it had used up its use. So we went and purchased one. And of course, I was an elf. I helped put it up. I helped decorate it, praise God, and we, amen, put it into use. For most Christmas symbols uh, come in various forms. Uh, you know, we got various lights, there's ribbons, there's bows. Uh, I always like icicles. I remember when we lived in that three-room house and we decorated the tree. I love putting on the icicles. Because they always made you think about snow. Amen. And I want you to know that and there's garland. And then on the top of the tree, on the very top, was the star. Amen. Gifts under the tree. Yet the Christmas tree stands tall when it's decorated and then lit. But still the true meaning can never lose its purpose. The, uh, the reason for it all is the celebration of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. our Savior of the world. Can the church say amen? amen? God choosing to send to earth heaven's greatest gift, Emmanuel, the God-man with us, wrapped in human flesh, our Redeemer, God with us. The excitement of Christmas must not stop at the sight of a beautiful decorated tree with all of its beautiful splendor and gifts underneath. We must still realize it's beyond this moment. It's all for the cause of Christ. Yeah. Can the church say amen? Amen. amen. I, I, I want you to know that uh, when we look in light of what Peter was saying in our text, that Jesus, he gave his all, his life. Mm -hmm. He gave his blood. Mm -hmm. He gave his life. He suffered. A mm -hmm. whipping. Good Lord. An average person would have died. Mm -hmm. Amen. They beat him. You know, a lot of people who get beat real bad, they die of hemorrhaging mm -hmm. and blood clots. I wish I had a nurse, praise God. Amen. But Jesus, amen, because he was on mission for God and for the redemption for us, he went through it all. Yeah. Amen. As we look, uh, the tree, the Christmas tree symbolizes a cross. Mm -hmm. In Acts 5 and 30, uh, Peter, uh, the, the apostle wrote, God of our fathers raised Jesus from the dead whom he killed by hanging him on the tree. We are witnesses of everything he did. They killed him by hanging him on the tree. 
Jesus died for our sins. Like a sacrificial lamb in the Old Testament. Although innocent, he died for sinners. He shed innocent blood on this tree that's called the cross. As a result, we are constrained, considered, amen, and given a new life. Amen. That we have, have overcome sin because of the redemption and the sacrifice of Christ. Amen. Can the church say amen? Amen. amen. I, I, I saw, thought about something else about this tree, the cross. Amen. Uh, the cross beam, which is called the paraboom, weighed about 50 kilos and it bore down on his back. Around about 200 pounds on his shoulder and it weighed down on both shoulders. He, was, he had bruised shoulders and bruised knees. Amen. But he carried the cross. Amen. I, I, I want you to know Isaiah said he was a man of sorrows. Hmm? The prophet said he was the victim of the most inhuman cruelty just to save us from sin. Amen. An open wound and a bloody fleshly body. Amen. His shoulders bruised, knees bruised because of the will of God. Amen. He suffered it all. Amen. For you and I. Amen. For the burdens of man's sins. Past, present, and future. Then lastly, third part. Jesus was nailed to the cross. Spikes pounded through both hands and feet. Our Lord and Savior was stripped of his clothing and then raised from the dead from a dead level to a perpendicular level. They raised him high, stretched him wide, and lifted him up upon the cross. He stayed right there for six hours. He stayed. Ordinarily, a person would have died in about five to ten minutes. But because of his love for us, he stayed on that cross. The Lord was hung on that cross. Some of the most excruciating pain man could have ever imagined. There is no denying. He suffered repeated moments of excruciating pain. Yeah, yeah. My God. Woo. Death here of Christ should have been a matter of minutes. But because of his redemption, he stayed there at six hours. Yeah. Six that represent man. Yeah. Adam was created in Eve uh -huh. on the sixth day. Uh -huh. Right? Amen. Grace is number six. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible lets us understand that, amen, when Jesus said it is finished, my Bible said he gave up the ghost and he died. That tells me death couldn't overtake it. Satan couldn't stop it. The grave couldn't keep it. Because he said, all power, heaven and earth, is in my hand. Lastly, no man in heaven nor in earth, neither on the earth, was able to open that book in Revelation called the seven seals. Neither <laughs> even to look at it. But it appears here on this cross. Here is the one that said, I am the resurrection. And the life. I believe I got a praying church. Amen. And, and, and he is saying, I got the keys to the kingdom. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He stayed there until it was finished. And then on that glorious third day morning, when it looked like, and this is for Christian hope, when it he was gone and wouldn't come back. He got up against every odd, against every false prophecy, against every lie. He got up. 
He's risen today. As a root of David, he is the one, that same person for whom Adam came. That in the source of all human life, God, Jesus, the root of David, is, is the hope of every generation. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, that second Adam, uh -huh. the second Adam failed, but the, the first Adam failed, but the second Adam prevailed. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. And then the, the Bible lets us know that Jesus said, I have come that you can have life and have it more abundantly. I want to say this Christmas message is not only for Gentile, but it's for the body of Christ. When you see the story of the Magi, the wise men, the kings that came, amen, and brought gifts, they didn't just came to bring a gift, they came to worship him. They knew he was the promised one. This morning we can rejoice in knowing Jesus is the promised one. He came to die for us. He came to suffer for us. But the good news is he rose from the grave to give us eternal victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The message of Christmas is for all people. Lastly, it is up to us to see how we react or receive or respond to the message. We have a choice. To personally accept Christ as our Lord and Savior and claim the eternal life he has promised or <laughs> you can accept your faith and your faith could be <laughs> he that knoweth not Christ shall not abide in the Lord's tabernacle. Praise the Lord. But blessed is he <laughs> that keepeth the prophecies of this book and then read and live by it. Because Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. And he that believeth in me shall never die, but live forever. God bless you and heaven smile upon you. The Christmas tree is an emblem of victory. Every light on it teaches us Jesus is the light of the world. The star on the top lets us know he is the top. He's King of Kings and Lord of Lord. The gift beneath, He's that perfect gift. He is. You don't need to shop for it. You don't need to bargain for it. It's already given if you receive it. Give the Lord a hand of praise. The Christmas tree. Praise God. The Christmas tree. We thank God today. If there's someone out of the ark of salvation and know not Christ as Lord. The Bible say today, if you hear his voice, how do you your heart? I invite someone, maybe I'll say it, I extend the gospel invitation for someone to come to be saved, to know the Lord. If you're not of church membership, we extend membership to you and to this family of God beyond the earth. If there's one among us, would you come down? Jesus is saying, I'm standing at the door and not knocking. Whosoever will, let him come. Praise the Lord. Is there one today? Father, we thank you. So we pray, our Father, our God, we thank you. thank you. For the word today, the message of the cross. The Christmas tree and all of its lights reflect who you are. You are the light of the world. You are Lord of Lords, King of Kings. And as we said before you today, touch hearts, change somebody's life. And God save us, for you're the only Savior that can. Bless this house, bless your people, and we praise your name. Thank you for your love, thank you for your mercy, and thank you for your grace. Pray to bless every adult, every child, and everyone in the room today. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Let us all say amen. 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 Give the Lord a hand clap for you. You might be seated. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us say amen today. Amen. amen. Praise God.
Beloved, we have come now to one of the most important parts of this worship service. The part of the service where we remember, as I just preached, what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did for us. And not only for us, but for the whole world. We have set apart this time in our service to say thank you, Jesus, for dying in our stead. Thank you, Jesus, for taking our sins upon you, paying that awful price of defeat on the cross for us so that we would not die but have everlasting life. We come to say we remember your sufferings, the agony of being separated from the Father, the pain of being rejected from the very ones you came to save. Therefore, Lord, we come to this moment in remembrance of all that you did for us at Calvary and say we accept what you did as our atonement for our sins. Amen. Amen. From the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 22, verse 7 and 13, it says, Then came the day of the unleavening bread, when the Passover was killed, that Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover, that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, ye have entered into the city. There shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him in the house where he enters in. And ye shall say to the good man of the house, The master saith unto thee, Where is the guest chamber? Where shall I eat the Passover with my disciples. And he shall show you a large upper room. Furnished. Therefore make ready. And they went. And found as he said unto them. And they made ready. For the Passover. At this time. Let us make ready. To serve at the Lord's table. Though will all ordained ministers and deacons. Please come. That we might prepare ourselves to serve the Lord's table. And also those of you that have been assigned to assist, will you come also?
together for this purpose. We pray now, God, that you would search our hearts. Prepare us, O oh God, for this moment. As we receive the cup and the bread, we pray, God, that you will forgive us for any sin, omission, commission. And God, give us the right spirit. As we receive this, Lord, it will be pleasing unto thee. Thank you, Father, for your love, for your mercy, and then your grace. And I pray that you will bless each and every one. Help us, Lord, to be more committed and faithful unto you. Because, God, you love us all, and we thank you. We thank you, Lord, and we pray in this moment that, Lord, as we eat and we drink, we'll be strengthened thereby to go about and be better Christians and servants for the kingdom. For this we ask in Jesus' name. One 
day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. Oh, it was the blood. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. And I know it was the blood saying me. Would you let us listen to the body of Christ to the young people? This is Jesus' body. Nice little You said that we can ask anything in your name. Yes, Lord, you said you would do it. So we say now, in the name of Jesus, as she, Lord, extend her faith to you, you work it out. God, you see her through it. And Lord, we believe victory. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. in the needs of others. And God, you said, where two or three touch and agree on anything, yes, you in the midst. So right now, 
work it out. Turn it around. Heal, deliver, miracle. Oh, hallelujah. We claim victory now. Even strengthen her body. Hey, hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. We believe it done in Jesus' name. Christmas message on the 
we send you, and the Lord be my helper. And we will try to share that with you as the Lord has shared with me. I stayed up a couple of nights just thinking of the times and how we went through a year and then where we are now. And here it is at Christmas time. And God is still good. Yeah. Amen. Uh, Funeralized a uh, friend of mine on yesterday. We grew up in the same church, sung in the choir, and everything. And he's younger than I am. And don't you think I didn't say no? Thank you for letting me live a little while long. Can I get a witness? See, I don't know nothing about dying. I don't even know about living. Come on, y'all be real with me. None of us know what it is on the other side. Except Jesus Christ. Amen. But but I'm working now. So I'll be ready when he calls. Amen. Amen. We praise the Lord. May God bless you all. Shall we look to Christ? Unto him who was once crucified, dead and buried, but now resurrected and seated on the right hand of God. May his grace, communion of his Holy Spirit, be with us all, his love now and forever, till we meet again. In Jesus' name, let the church say, amen. amen. And God bless you all. Have a marvelous day. And God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.